Hey, I'm Maya. I'm a part-time illustrator living in Barcelona. I just recently moved from Germany to Spain and I'm so grateful to live in this beautiful city and to follow my passion. If you want to become an illustrator but you're struggling with getting your first clients, this video or this channel in general might be for you. I know that starting as an illustrator can be really overwhelming there's so much to learn and to discover and you just don't know where to start. And also getting a first client with no or not much experience can be really, really hard, especially when you don't have a portfolio or website. And I can tell you that I've been there. I had nothing. I had no portfolio, no website, and I didn't even finish a whole illustration or client project. Before I started as a freelance illustrator, I wrote blog posts for websites and blogs through freelancer platform. But this was so little money that after some time I felt burned out and I lost the passion for writing. I recognized that I don't have so much fun writing articles about things I'm not really interested in. So I realized I needed to change something. I looked for blog posts about working online in the creative field and I found something called vector illustrations. And I was absolutely amazed by this art style. So I started to watch YouTube videos about how to create your first vector illustration and I learned everything about the process that I could find. Then I just created one simple illustration to showcase on freelancer platforms. The next step was to look for freelancer platforms to provide my work and to find my first client. There are so many platforms outside, so it's really difficult to decide which one you should choose. But I decided to go with the most popular one, Fiverr. What I like about Fiverr is that you don't have to apply for jobs. You have the option to do so, but it's not a common way on Fiverr and you don't have to. What is more popular on Fiverr is a thing called gigs. You can just create a gig with a skill that you can do and let the clients find you. I really like this way because like this you can get messages from potential clients and it's a little bit easier and faster to get your first project. So this is why I decided to go with Fiverr and to create my first gig about the new skill that I learned regarding vector illustrations. I already made two videos about Fiverr on this channel. So if you are interested in this platform and getting your first order and everything around Fiverr in general, you can check this out. I will leave the links in the description. And I can say it took me really a while to get my first client. And um, I also made a video about this, how to get your first order. And it took me around one month to get this. But then, really, the things got faster and faster after that. You probably think that on Fiverr you can just get $5 for your work, as the name suggests. And that was actually the meaning of the name when Fiverr was founded in 2010. They wanted to have Fiverr as a platform where you can get everything you need for just 5 bucks. Luckily, this has changed as many sellers are requesting more money now. But I can tell you in the beginning, you really need to work for an hourly rate of just one dollar or less. It was a really hard time and if I wouldn't love this so much, I had quit immediately. But this is my passion and I just really loved to create these illustrations no matter what they paid me. But to have a sustainable life, you definitely need to charge more once you have more experience. Now we are coming to the interesting part. How I was able to get a client project for a five-figure payment. And this is the point why I love freelancer platforms like Fiverr. You never know what is out there for you and you never know what will happen. As an illustrator, you need to put yourself and your work out there, no matter where. If it is a freelancer platform on social media like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, no matter what, just do it. So one day I received a message from a company with agents who are looking for illustrators for another company. So that means they have a deal with the other company and when they find someone to work with, they will get a payment like 20% of the deal that I am doing with a bigger company. I hope it makes sense. Just like a referral fee that they yeah, brought me and the company together. So they said how many illustrations they want to have and they asked me for an offer. This was a really difficult situation, especially when you never have been there and now someone asks you, what is your work worth? And you are sitting there and think, I don't know. <laughs> especially when you just worked on platforms like Fiverr, where, like I told you, everything is meant to be for five bucks. And actually I made a mistake with my first big offer that I needed to create. I created a list with my prices and 
the illustrations I would do for these prices. Like for one figure, I would pay, uh, I would charge something like ten dollars, for example. And I made this list and gave it to the company again. And when I created this list, I calculated it regarding my Fiverr price list. Also, the company uh, didn't want to do this um, project on Fiverr. They wanted to do it via email, so outside of Fiverr. So we could also save the fees from both sides. So actually, my prices were way too low because I yeah, calculated it regarding my Fiverr prices. And yeah, that was the mistake. <laughs> but I was really lucky and I had a really, really nice company in front of me. And they suggested me to not create a price list with each figure um, and to better create a whole package for this offer. And they also gave me a little hint that it was a little bit too low. And I was really happy about that because um, deep inside me I already had the feeling, oh no, that was that was not enough, uh, not the worth of my work and my time that I need to spend for this big project. So I was really thankful that they told me that and that we could create the offer together. And actually why I did that, um, I think because it was my first really big client, um, I was really excited about that and I was just afraid to lose this client. And I think this is uh, really common at the beginning when you just start out and you get a message and you get a really big project for what you are really excited about and you really want to do it, then you just want to keep it safe and yeah, just want to make sure that you don't lose the client. But this is not the best way to do it. <laughs> also, when you charge too low, really big clients who are really professional, they could also think that you are not good enough just because of the prices. They think, okay, that's too cheap that cannot be good. And yeah, this is uh, another topic. Uh, I will create um, more videos about this in the future. But I just wanted to tell you that it is okay to make mistakes in the beginning. It is totally normal and you just learn from it. Because after that, I really started to listen um, to my feeling and if, yeah, if I have a good feeling with my own prices or not. You really need to look deep inside you and yeah, try to find out how you feel with it. So I finished my first big project with a good amount of money and I was super grateful. But this was not it. Short time after that, the company reached out to me again, this time directly to me without the other company in between and they asked for more. This time it was even crazier and for a really big city and also my illustrations needed to be printed on really big posters so I was completely overwhelmed <laughs> but I was super happy that uh, they came back to me and that they liked my work that I provided before. So this was a five-figure project I'm talking about all the time and uh, I just wanted to tell you with the story that I got this biggest project in my career so far just through a platform like Fiverr. It would have never happened um, if I didn't sign up for this platform or if I didn't created my first gig on this platform. So you really never know what will happen. I also know that I was really lucky and that it is not given that this will happen. And I am i couldn't be more grateful for this. But I just wanted to show you with the story that great things can happen when you are brave enough to put yourself and your work out there. Now I am here in Barcelona, my absolute favorite city of all time. And I'm really excited for what will come. I really hope that this video inspired you to be creative and to work on your passion. I wish you all the best in the future. If you're interested in topics like this, you can leave a like and follow me on my journey. Please leave a comment if you have any suggestions about a topic you would like me to talk about. See you next time.